Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Hike Beyond. I am Mikael and today I'm gonna do a review about this Tropic June Core Black Travel Shoes. And if you're an outdoor enthusiast or an avid traveler, you know that the right piece of gear can make a big, big difference. These shoes have been gaining some popularity recently, so I wanted to share my thoughts and experience on how suitable they are for either hiking or traveling. Now, I am not sponsored in any sort of way, not by Tropic Fuel or any other brand, unfortunately, yet. Uh, so I bought these for my own money. So without further ado, let's start. So, first off, starting with the design and the appearance. Well, it has a sleek and minimalistic design to it. Just a white, typical sole. And I've chosen for the, the black one. You can get these in four colors. Uh, my girlfriend bought the green ones and they look very, very nice as well. I know that these are made from recycled materials, so it's uh, also environmentally conscious. What I like about these shoes is they are functional. I don't care that much for appearance. Uh, it needs to get the job done and these shoes, well, they get the job done most of the time. So, comfort and fit. I have to admit, the first couple of hours walking on these shoes, I really had to get used to it. Because as you can probably see, is that they are made of mostly breathable mesh uh, and it's a very stretchy and flexible material. The insoles, as you can see, or at least the soles, you can pull out and they are perforated. So it enhances the, uh, the breathability of the shoe. And the insoles are made of high cushioned materials. What I'm not such a fan of is that the ankle support, well, it doesn't have any ankle support. It's very flexible, as you can see because the, the material used is the same mesh as it's uh, at the front side. So for the, for the very first few hours, I, <laughs> I thought I was slipping out of my shoe with my heel constantly because it stretches a bit up whenever you're lifting off and walking. Um, but it's just a matter of getting used to and I haven't slip, <laughs> slipped out of these shoes at all. What I also like is even though it's not a very tight fit around your ankles at the bottom, um, it's a snug fit. So it's, it's a little bit cozy. Um, I've worn these shoes also without any socks and with sand on my feet and all that kind of stuff and they were wet. And the shoes didn't leave any red mark or, or uh, didn't feel like uh, I experienced a lot of pressure from the fit. So that's a very good point in my opinion because most of these kind of stretchy, flexible shoes tend to have very, very tight fit. Um, and I get sore feet from that after wearing them for, uh, for too long. So now we get to one of the most important features, at least in my opinion, and that is the durability and performance of these shoes. Um, first, I'm gonna start talking about the hiking uh, aspect of these shoes and then I'll come to the travel aspect. Because for hiking, um, hiking, they are okay-ish. Um, your feet move around a lot when you wear them, especially when you're on uh, some rougher or sturdy terrain. I don't know if you can see it, but you just move around a lot because, of, because everything is made of that breathable mesh material. It's not for everyone. Um, I got used to it after walking about 10 minutes on the trail, but that's a, th a thing to consider. If you're going on a hike for about four to five hours um, at a semi-rough terrain, you know, a little bit of grid and sand and some rocks, then they're fine. But if you're planning on doing some serious hikes, just don't use these. I went to the island of Bonaire for the last two weeks. It's an island in the, in the Dutch Caribbean. On Bonaire, there weren't a lot of hiking trails, at least no challenging hiking trails. There is a, a, 
I call it a hill, <laughs> but it's called Mount Bandaris. It's, uh, it's the biggest or the tallest mountain on the island of Bonaire. It's about 241 meters um, and you can climb them. So I did it twice with these shoes uh, and I put some or I made some clips with my phone. So let's check them out in the meanwhile. Well, I'll talk you through uh, my experience with hiking uh, the Brandares. At the beginning of the trail, it was just only rocky, grainy, sandy trails uh, with a lot of loose rocks, but the shoes held up fine. Uh, like I said before, it, it took me some getting used to the whole wobbly feeling of the shoes. But once I get used to it, they actually walked fine. The grip on the shoes are, are really good. It really surprised me. But uh, after uh, a good 20, 25 minutes in the trail, um, I had to climb over some bigger rock formations. Uh, and especially the last part, you really have to climb on your hands and on your feet. And it gets a bit uh, more sketchy. And I didn't feel very comfortable at first with these shoes um, because I thought like, hey, they're gonna slip probably. But these shoes held up fine. I actually felt like a little mountain goat just hopping off bop, 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 to the top. And also the descent went perfect, which really surprised me in a, in a very positive way. That's it for like the little hiking or, or maybe day hike part. For the traveling part, these shoes are great. I actually like them more than my sneakers, purely because of their breathability, their ease of slipping in and out, and they just have a very snug fit for traveling to warm, humid countries or areas uh, where sneakers are often too hot and slippers are not that convenient or comfortable. Uh, these shoes provide an excellent all-round way of transportation, <laughs> so to say. I also wore these all the time to the beach. Um, I snorkeled with them, I swam with them, uh, and they're great. Uh, they, they act like water shoes, but I have to say if there are a lot of sea urchins, just wear your regular dedicated water shoes because uh, when I was hiking the Brandaars, I got pricked by a little barb that stuck right through this breathing hole um, and it pricked my little toe. My little toe wasn't too happy about it, but hey, at least it's better than getting stung by uh, <laughs> a little black sea urchin. If that's the case where you're going, just wear your normal, normal water shoes, but if the water is safe, these shoes will do perfect. All right. Let's talk about the price of these fine shoes. Um, I believe they go for 99 euros uh, at this moment. I believe I paid a little bit more because I had one of the first versions. Tropic Fuel is still a startup or startup-ish. Um, and I think you can also get a lot of discount codes from their own website. So they'll probably be a little bit cheaper, but it's still a lot of money. Um, and is it worth buying? So I purchased these rather for traveling and little hiking trips and little city trips when I'm on holiday. Um, and these shoes are really perfect, at least for me in that way. And now if you're still bearing with me, uh, I come to my conclusion. Am I happy with my purchase of these Tropic View Junecore black shoes. Yes, I actually am. <laughs> like I said before, um, they're very good all around traveling shoes. Uh, the price is, is pretty much okay. Like normal sneakers here in the Netherlands are, are easily over uh, 100 euros a pair. Uh, and I, th I, I choose functionality over appearance. I don't care if I'm walking in the newest whatever brand is fancy now. I really like that they are so breathable and so flexible um, and yeah for me it's a convenience that I can just fold them up both and stuff them in my pack, my day pack, suitcase, wherever I'm going and I just have a sturdy pair of shoes. 
back in December, I'm planning to go to Costa Rica for four to five weeks. And I will definitely wear these shoes as my all day, all round shoes. I will only bring my hiking shoes for like real jungle hikes and that kind of stuff. But these are the only shoes I, I need beside that. Uh, these are functional shoes. I know I can rely on them uh, in different weather types and conditions. Uh, I can also go for a light hike with them. So that's perfect for me and what I want to do. And I can imagine these are excellent uh, uh, shoes for people who uh, work or live um, for a couple of months in, in, in Bali or in Thailand or Colombia or whatever nice country uh, you're residing in with a more warm, uh, humid climate. Yeah, I think these are your to go to shoes. So that's my conclusion. Uh, I hope it helped you a little bit on deciding whether these shoes are a good fit for you or not. And uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching my uh, very first gear review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any comments, tips, advice, questions, whatever, just post them on the comments below. Uh, I also have an Instagram. Uh, I'll put the handle somewhere here. It's at the hike beyond. And there I'll be posting uh, all my adventures, real time, where I'm at, what I'm doing. So if you're interested in hiking, especially in Europe, uh, survival tips, um, all that kind of stuff, feel free to follow me. And uh, once again, thank you very much. And don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, have a great day.